Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, there's uh, one more theme I wanted to show you how to install. It's one I've used a few times. I like it a lot. Be really good for a project like this. It's at my theme shop. It's a free one. And here's how I got to it. You go to themes and you can choose free here. Do a search and it's this one here. It's called point and it's free. Show you a little demo of it real quick. Looks like this. You can have your logo up here. This trending bar is kind of optional. So you don't need that to show that, but you can turn that on. These are just your main pages, which will be your categories. This is a place for an ad, which is good. Uh, this box you don't have to have here. You can um, have a download, I guess. I've never used it. This is a slideshow, <clears throat> excuse me, you can have that turned on or off, it's up to you. Uh, the themes I've, or the sites I've used it for, I've had it turned off. Down here is where your latest articles will show. They have this nice kind of tabbed widget over here, good search, more room for ads. I mean, you can make it look just like this if you want. Okay, then down the footer they've got... Um, some more featured stories and all this down here. So, and if you go into one of the articles, it looks pretty good. I mean, this is just really, really clean. I know it's dynamic too, so, or I'm sorry, responsive. So if your people are viewing it on a mobile phone, you know, it'll look really nice. So just a, just a great theme. All right, so what you do is you go on your site. And you go to Appearance Themes. You'll see all the themes here, but you're going to go to Upload Theme. Then you're going to browse your hard drive or just drag it over. Put it in there. That's the zip file you should get. This one might be out of date, but we'll we'll take a look. So I hit Install. And I like to go right to Activate. So let's do that. Okay. And we can take a look, see how it turned out. Okay, there's not much going on here, but it did a pretty good job. All right, we got the now trending. We've got the categories I already set up in there. The logo looks pretty good. Okay. And to work on this one, you go over here to theme options. Some of their newer themes have a, a button up here. So you might, be, you might see me running up there, but it's actually over here on the side. Okay. Now they've got a few things they want you to install. So they got a few plugins. So you might as well grab these. This WP subscribe one is pretty good. I have the pro version. That's so people can join your newsletter. This tab widget is that, that thing on the side we can tab between two widgets so that's a pretty nice one to have so you can go over here and just install these okay looks like they got them both in there activate them these are just required plugins that kind of go with the theme they want to make sure you got them so those will appear in your your plugins now they just had like a separate way to install those so it's not a big deal and then they'll try to um, get you to buy their pro version I already did buy that actually that's a good one to buy um, some other messages okay but it put them in here and they're activated right down here so are you good then back to theme options Okay, we are already on the free support. General settings, this is where you can browse for a logo. I think it's already, actually I'm not using a logo, I'm using the emoji or the symbol and then the text, so I don't really even need that. You can put a, a logo in the footer, which will be down here. I'm not even using that. These fave icons, there's some fave icon generators online if you need to put one in there and that'll put like on my site here I got this TH that puts that in there for you. It's a nice little touch. 
uh, header code. Don't need to use that now. Copyright text. This is what appears down right here. So you can even remove this little plug they have in there. Just delete that. Trending is this uh, funky little bar on top. Let's just turn that off for now. You can turn that on later. And if you did have it on, you you would pick a category for it. We don't have that set up. Homepage feature section. This is um, this is like their. If you saw in the demo, they had like a slideshow. Uh, I'm just going to disable that for now. Footer featured again is what we saw in the demo. They had some images at the bottom there. We're going to turn that on for now. But you can guys can go in there and do this later. That's fine. Pagination means it goes no older, newer. Um, Yep, I like how they have that. So we'll just hit save. Take a look at our changes. So the trending bar will be gone. And I took away that little text down there. Next one is styling options. You can choose a color. So right now, this the color is this text right here, this text. So you can go in here and just choose which Color you want, maybe you want like a red theme or green or purple or whatever you want to do. So cameras, I think I'm gonna stick with a nice blue right there. Layout, you can have the sidebar be over here or on the left side. I like it on the right. I've done sites both ways. This one has it on the right. I like the main content here. People read left or right, so that's the way I'll keep it. On the home home page and blog pages, you want excerpts typically. So I keep that there. You can play around the background color. You can do a background image. You'd have to come up with one yourself. This is custom styles sheets. You don't need that. And you want to leave responsiveness on, of course. So not a lot of changes with that one. I just changed the color slightly. So it goes a little darker blue. Actually, what I could do is get match it up with this blue. So I've got an app for that called Color Picker. And I can go pick that color, copy the hex color, go back in and then just paste that in here. Hit save. And now this will match. There we go. So that matches that. Nice touch, right? Next, styling options. Well, we went through that already. Single posts. These are pretty good the way they are. I love the related post kind of plugin, so I'll leave that on. Author box, I think, is cool. How that works is when you go into your user panel, let's do a new tab here. You got your username you set up. You can go down to here and you can put some text in here and your and your photo. And at the end of your article, it'll list the text in your photo. It could be a little bio about you. You can put links in here, but you have to know a little HTML to put that in. So you can do that. You can Google how to do that. It's pretty easy. Okay. So if you have that turned on, then that'll show that box. So I think that's pretty cool. We didn't change any ads here. Okay, here you've got some banner areas. So there's one banner area right here, I know. Um, below the right side, you can have some ads go there. A few more. I don't use, use these a whole lot, but there's some ads in there. Navigation, we'll go over in a second. It's over here. Import, export. So if you have a few um, blogs of your own that you're using this theme on, you can kind of export the same settings and use it between them. So that's kind of cool. You probably won't use that right away. Menus. I've gone over this in another video, but this basically controls what's up here. So you're able to choose pages, 
excuse me, you're able to choose posts, you wouldn't do that. But probably do categories like I did. So I just selected these, added them in. I'm not going to add them in twice, but you get the idea. You can do these however you want. You want a name for it. And then you're going to go to Manage Locations and make sure that the primary menu is selected to, the, to that one. With this theme, you can also do a footer menu, which will appear down here, which is these links down here. These are the default ones that are there now. So let's go through and do that quick just so you can see it. So we'll do uh, create a new menu right here. And you can call it whatever you want. No one's going to see the name. So I just do footer. Hit create. And we're going to be kind of boring, but I'm just going to put a home link down there. For no good reason. And here you can actually assign it to the footer right away. Hit save. And you can even check. Go to manage locations. That says footer. And we'll refresh this, and then down here, it'll just say home. So you got control of what goes there, which is kind of nice. This button just gets you to the top of the page if it's a long scroll page. So that's what that's for. All right, and then the last thing is probably go over to widgets. And this theme just has one sidebar here. And they give you some widgets that come with it. They all say My Theme Shop. So this is for ads. This is for more ads. You've got their like, their like box is pretty cool. Let me show you that one. Let's drag it up here. And you just paste in your the URL to your Facebook page. You can set how wide you want this. There's a couple light or dark. Color schemes, you can play with that. This shows you what's um, some posts on your page, the faces of people that joined, the Facebook header. Just play around with this stuff. One warning, when you do have this kind of stuff, this Facebook um, stuff like uh, coming right from Facebook, it's going to slow your site down a little bit. Okay, It's good to have. I've got a site that's got this on it, and it gets people signing up. And it keeps them coming back. So I think it's worth it. But I just want to give you that, that little heads up on there. You've got... These are Jetpack ones. You know, you can play around with these widgets that are in here. And... I don't know. That's about it. This one is another one of theirs. It's the tab widget. Okay. So let's bring that up. Throw it in down there. And you're able to choose what you want to show. You can have up the all four of these things at once. No one really uses the tags anymore, so you wouldn't use that one. And then here they let you choose an order. One, two, three, four. Okay. Advanced options. You can play around with this. Number of posts to show. Title length. I usually bring this up to somewhere around 20, 22. That's how many words show. Because I kind of don't like having the dot, dot, dot. You can show thumbnails if you want, what size you want them, the date, you can turn that on and off, comments on and off, excerpt, just play around with these settings here. It's really easy. You just hit save and then you'll go to your site, do a little refresh and you'll start, you know, seeing these things come up. Once you get content in here, you'll, you'll see more of this search box and this ugly message won't show up. Okay, and uh, that's it. Again, this is a cool theme. Once you get in there and start using it, it's great. And all your posts with a theme like this and most other themes, let's say we're using this, this one here, you do want to make sure you put in a featured image over here on the right. You'll just choose one from what you have. Hit featured, and then that'll show up as the the image on the home page and, and different things. So let's just publish this quick test. Just so you can see what I mean. 
Don't want to drag this on too long, but it's a good thing to know. So I'm waiting for that. All right, looks like that posted, so it should show up here. There we go. So there's the title, and you can do the date and all this, and see it shows that image there. Now when I go in there, uh, the image doesn't show up here. You'd have to put it back in again, but this is the content. These are the sharing items again. This is that author box, comments. You know, if there's more content in here, it'd look a lot better. And page would go longer, but you get the idea. This is where your ad will go. Um, I didn't put in a Facebook URL, so that's not working. But this is just an awesome theme, you guys. I mean, for free, this is better than... Most of the themes I've seen out there. So if you want to get a taste of this, my theme shop company, which I do endorse, go with this point theme, set it up, get it going. I think you'll really like it. All right, guys, have fun. Good luck. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later.